In this exercise tutorial, I'm gonna be taking you through a barbell forward lunge. We're gonna be using the squat rack here. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up. The squat rack can be a very intimidating bit of kit for a lot of beginners. So hopefully this exercise will give you the tools to be able to do an alternating forward lunge with a barbell, also knowing how to set it up on a squat rack. So firstly, before we get into the position of the barbell, it's really important that we understand how to set up this squat rack. What's the right position? What's the wrong position? Now, this is one of the new squat racks. So they've got what's called a pin mechanism. So hopefully you can see on camera, there's this little pin here. I would pull the pin out and I can move this up and down. And these are what the barbell sits in when we're doing the exercise. So we take the barbell off this and we put it back on after the exercise. Now, how do we know it's in the right position? Now, what I would do just as a general rule of thumb, stand up against it, okay? And you want the lip here of where you put the barbell into just below the position of the top of your shoulder. So here's the top of my shoulder. You can see it's just below. And that means I'm gonna have a little bit of height to then come up with the barbell. So when I'm putting it back on or taking it off, I'm not too low or having to come up onto my tiptoes. Now let's put the barbell into both catches. Make sure, take a little step back, the barbell's in center line. So the barbell was not veered off to one side or the other. And make sure as well you take note of each side here. Make sure they're the same number or at least the same height. If you're thinking, Travis, my squat rack in the gym doesn't have these little pin mechanisms, the old school squat racks, you'd have to lift this out and pull it out or to bring it into position, you lock it in by shifting it in and down. So hopefully you've got one of the two squat rack variations. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come underneath the barbell. I'm gonna make sure that the, the middle of my back, the middle of my spine is in contact with the middle of this barbell. I'm gonna bring my hood over the top and I'm sitting the bar on what's called my trapezius muscle. I'll come into this a little bit later. I'm then gonna bring my hands locked into the bar and then push up to raise the bar off the position. I'm gonna take a big couple of steps back, and this is because I'm doing a forward lunge. I need plenty of space here. And what I want you to imagine is you're keeping the chest up, you're locking the barbell down, so I'm pulling the barbell down into my shoulders. This stops it from veering. And then I'm coming with one repetition at a time, doing a big lunge forward and dropping my back leg to just hovering off the floor with each repetition. Imagine you're walking forward, big stride, and then you're trying to come into a kneeling position with your back leg. That is how to do the alternating forward lunge. Once you're done, you're gonna walk it in, and then rest it on those catches. So in terms of the barbell position, what I want you to do is take your hand, feed it to the back of your body, and you'll notice as you're walking the hand down your back, It'll be almost like a bony protrusion, which will be the top of your scapula. So what I want you to do is imagine, okay, if I can feel where that bony protrusion is, the bar goes just slightly above it. We don't want it too high, where we're then in a position where it's on the neck, and you repeat this for your desired amount of sets and repetitions. 